Imagine living at the heart of the Las Vegas Strip with the world-class amenities right at your fingertips. Today, we're exploring the unparalleled benefits of living at the Waldorf Astoria in Las Vegas. Feel free to share your thoughts along the way in the comments below. Prime location. Waldorf Astoria is located at 3750 South Las Vegas Boulevard in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip. We have something called a city center, which is like a campus. And within city center, you have Waldorf Astoria, Veer Towers, another residential tower. You have Aria, you have Cosmopolitan, and you have Vidara. And you also have the Crystals shops. What I love about the city center is it has its very own zip code. I'll get into that in a bit. But your lifestyle living at the Waldorf Astoria is literally the best. When it comes to high-rise living, living at either Veer or the Waldorf is gonna give you the best experience because you are literally walking distance from T-Mobile Arena where you can catch a Golden Knights hockey game or a concert. Park MGM, which has the Dolby Theater, I've seen the Foo Fighters there. It is the best acoustics for a concert. You also have the outdoor gardens area for the Park MGM where they have the beer garden, they have like a sushi restaurant. When there's Golden Knights games, they always have like a live DJ. There's always something happening in front of the T-Mobile Arena, which connects the Park MGM. Right now, they also have the Hello Kitty Cafe. So if you're into that, it'd be something that would be part of your lifestyle living at the Waldorf. Another thing to note is you have Crystal's Shopping. Crystal's has all the best designer stores. You have Chanel, Dior, Christian Louboutin. I mean, all of it is right within Crystal's. You also have Mastro's and Toco Madeira, and you have tons of restaurants. So living at the Waldorf Astoria is really the best location. Another thing to note is you're about 10 to 12 minutes from the Harry Reid International Airport. And if you're someone that likes to get out of the strip and you don't want to be in the hustle and bustle, you're not too far away from Summerlin or Henderson as well. Exceptional amenities. Because you live in a five-star hotel, a Forbes rated five-star hotel, the only one in Las Vegas, non-smoking, non-gaming, the bar of service and the level of service that you can expect is above anything you can imagine. What's unique about the Waldorf Astoria residences is it's actually separate from the hotel. While it's in the same building and the amenities are shared, it's a boutique hotel. So it's not like one of these major hotels with thousands of rooms. You don't have as many rooms and they're separated by the 23rd floor. So everything below the 23rd floor is gonna be hotel. Everything above the 23rd floor is gonna be private residences. What I love about what they did when they designed this before it was the Mandarin Oriental and in 2016, they changed it over to the Waldorf. They have separate entrance. So when you go into the um, area to get into the Waldorf Astoria to valet your car, you're gonna notice kind of a discreet turn off to the right. That's where the private residence entrance is. They have their own separate valet, their own separate lobby, their own separate billiards table and lounge area, and they have their own separate front desk and concierge. So it's really nice because there is a separation and you're not just gonna have someone turning in that you know shouldn't be there. You know, it's one of those things you have to know that it's there and the doormen come out right away. They're always there, always on standby. So they'll always ask, you know, where are you headed if they don't recognize who you are. So it's a very secure building in that way. But the amenities are amazing. You're getting that five star experience with the spa, the fitness facility. They have a yoga room, Pilates. They have the gorgeous pool, which is a nice little pool deck. They have restaurants, they have room service. You can have someone come clean your room if you'd like. There's just all of that hotel stay type of amenity without having to actually stay in the hotel. High-end accommodations. There is a total of 225 individually owned condos within the residential area of the Waldorf Astoria. You have two collections ranging from the luxury collection to the penthouse collection. The luxury collection is gonna be on floors 25 to 40, while the penthouse collection is gonna be 41 to 47. The penthouse collection, some of these units were sold as gray shells, so you have some really unique flair in some of these units. I actually just saw one come to market that was a one bedroom, it has a crazy primary suite in this huge open living space, great views of the Bellagio fountains, but really unique because most of the penthouse floors, people have done the three bedroom with the four, you know, three and a half, four bath, just to kind of create bedroom separation. 
Mainly you're going to see floor plans ranging from one to three bedrooms, a little bit under 1100 square feet, all the way up to about 4000 square feet. Units that aren't redone and designer finished where someone has come in and completely renovated the unit. And you're going to see quite a few of these. People have really invested in the building. And that's something that I love about this tower. You're going to see people who've put a true thumbprint on their unit. They've brought in professional designers from New York and they've had specialists come in through Las Vegas and rebuild out the units. Now, some of these units are still the developer grade units, but these units were still high end finishes, beautiful floor to ceiling windows. You're going to see Gaggenau appliances. You're going to see granite countertops, gorgeous flooring. So if you are getting one that is the developer grade unit, they're still very luxurious, still very beautiful. And at the time they were built at the Marion Oriental standard. Just curious, what features do you look for in the interior design of a unit? Let me know in the comments below. Remarkable views. You'll ever see that postcard Las Vegas strip view with the Paris balloon and the gorgeous Planet Hollywood sign and just like all of the lights. Well, you can get those views in the Waldorf Astoria. Another coveted view in the Waldorf Astoria is the Bellagio Fountains. And it is one of my favorite views because imagine this, imagine being in your dining room table after a long day, just sitting with a nice glass of wine, watching the Bellagio Fountain Show. And that is something you can literally do every single day, a few times a day or night if you want to. Pretty amazing and something I think is so spectacular and unique about the Waldorf Astoria views. Privacy and security. Now, privacy and security is going to be a little bit unique to the Waldorf Astoria building. Like I shared earlier, some of these amenities are shared. The fitness facility is shared with the hotel guests. You also have the pool, the spa area, that's all shared. But what's unique to this tower is you have a discreet entrance off to the side. You have your own valet, your own check-in desk, your own concierge, and your own little business lounge area. And then when you walk into the lobby area of the private residences, it's beautiful. And it's one of those spaces that I don't mind when a client's running late because I like sitting there. <laughs> they also have complimentary coffee and tea and water. So I'll get make myself a little coffee, put up my laptop, work a little bit. It's really such a treat and I don't mind if someone's late because of it. The other thing to note is it is a boutique hotel. So you're not just having anyone walk through the hotel. There's no gaming or any reason for anyone to really be in the hotel unless they're attending a conference or they're staying at the hotel. Otherwise there is so much else going on that I don't really worry so much about people just walking into the private residence. There's also 24 hour um, security cameras, you have security, you have bellmen there asking questions. If you're just walking up to the door, you have to have a fob to get in. To get into the elevator, you also have to have a fob. And the other thing I love about this building and something that was annoying to me when I was showing the towers and I didn't really know my way around yet is there are lots of discreet doors from the amenities that the shared with the hotel to the private residences. So on the sixth floor, you're going to have some amenities and you would probably go from your residence to the elevator you go you know into that area you wouldn't go out of the private residences to the hotel entrance you would just go through the building but what's so cool is that door is just kind of there it has a little tiny sign and has a little tiny area for your fob so it's very discreet and that's something that i think is so cool if we haven't met yet my name is courtney bentley and i'm a luxury real estate agent here in las vegas I offer a concierge service to take the headache out of moving to my favorite city. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Now let's move on. Prestigious address. Like I mentioned earlier, city center is a very coveted area of the Las Vegas Strip. Something unique about this area is it actually has its very own zip code. So that means it has its own fire station and police station. Another thing to note is that it was built around the Mandarin Oriental standard and now has the Waldorf Astoria brand, but with that comes a certain level of expectation and service. So saying that you live at the Waldorf Astoria, if you're anywhere in the world, most people know that Waldorf Astoria equates to luxurious five-star service. I think it's pretty unique to be able to say that you live in the five-star luxury hotel of Waldorf Astoria on the world-famous Las Vegas Strip. Seamless integration and hotel services. Living in a five-star hotel is just that. 
you're gonna have five-star amenities and five-star services. Imagine waking up and not feeling like you wanna make any breakfast. You can just call down, get in sweet dining with a press of a button. Pretty unique. You also have restaurants within the hotel. You have Zen Kitchen, which is open for breakfast. They also have a lovely lunch. They're opening a new restaurant soon. We don't know much about it. It used to be Twist by a famous chef, Pierre, but that has since closed and they're keep saying there's gonna be another celebrity chef coming through and making a really cool restaurant. They also have the afternoon tea and my favorite bar in all of Las Vegas on the 23rd floor. It's my favorite bar for a couple of reasons. One, it has the best views, I think, of the city indoors. Two, they play great music, but not too loud. So you can have friends, you can have lovely conversation, you can enjoy yourself without feeling like you're screaming over music or having a bunch of people like kind of drunk, running around everywhere. It's just a really nice vibe, very chic, very like sophisticated. The drinks are amazing, great views and you get that full Las Vegas experience without feeling like you're in crazy Las Vegas. Another thing to note is that the Waldorf Astoria has one of those spas that people love. A 27,000 square foot luxury spa with all the services and amenities that a hotel five-star experience would have. So you're getting massages, nail techs, that you can call down and have someone blow out your hair. They have the spa store with like bikinis and swimsuits and sunscreen and hair care products. So let's say this is a secondary residence for you and you flew in last minute and you didn't bring shampoo and you, you know, forgot to get your nails and whatever. You can just go downstairs, book a spa appointment, they'll take care of you, or you can call down. They have all the high-end shampoos. They can bring that shampoo up to your room. That's the type of lifestyle that you'd be living and how everything is nice and seamless. You're getting that hotel experience without being in the hotel part. And you get all those luxurious amenities that one could expect being in a five-star hotel. Let's see how well you know the Waldorf Astoria so far. True or false? The Waldorf Astoria residence has a separate entrance from the hotel. True or false? The first person to answer in the comments below will get a shout out on my short. Dedicated staff. As one could imagine, to run a five-star hotel, you need a lot of staff. And then on top of that, you have the resident side. And one thing I can say as someone who has sold units in this building, the staff is unbelievably amazing. So I had a unit that was for sale and we had the inspection going on and the owner, because it was a third, maybe fourth residence, he didn't know that the washer and dryer had been replaced. Well, it'd been replaced, but not connected properly. So when the inspector went to run the washer, the water started going everywhere. And I started freaking out. I was like, it wasn't connected properly. We didn't know what was going on. I was like, I think this is brand new. I don't, I don't understand. And we immediately shut it off, of course. And I called downstairs and engineering came up within, I don't know, 10 minutes, fixed everything, got everything, cleaned up and was in and out within half an hour and everything was just perfect. And that just showed me the level of service and care that the staff has for the building. And it's one of those things that makes you go, okay, I understand why the HOA is high. I understand what I'm paying for. You're paying for things like that. You're paying for that type of dedication and that level of service. Every time I go to that building and I've been going there for years, the same people are working there. And that says a lot. When you have a lot of opportunities on the strip with new casinos and new buildings opening up, a lot of times staff will leave. They wanna see what the next chapter looks like for them. They'll move up the ranks. They just want a different experience, what have you. But when you love where you work, you stay. And when you see the same smiling faces year after year, working the valet, the bellman, the front desk, the concierge. It just goes to show that there is a level of service and dedication that not only they provide to the guests and, guests and the people around them, but that the staff and the management provides to them. So that's definitely something to take note of. 
um, that I truly love and noticed about that building. Another thing to note is they have a concierge service. So because it's within the Hilton family and it's connected to the MGM city center, you have the in and the know of what's going on and they can help you out with getting tickets and reservations and making sure that you're experiencing Las Vegas at that top tier level exclusive events and social opportunities. Whenever I go into the lobby and I'm waiting for a client or waiting to visit a friend, I always notice there's some type of event, some type of social gathering poster sitting at the coffee lounge area. And a lot of times it's store openings or private events at the high-end stores at Crystal's, restaurant opening invitations, private events for different charities around town. There's a lot of curated events for the residents at Waldorf Astoria. So it's a really tight knit community for that reason. And you'll notice people in and out of the elevator saying hi, asking how people's trips were. And you just really get a sense of community and social life within that tower. Proximity to art and culture. While Las Vegas is not known for its art and culture, you are not too far from downtown Las Vegas where there is tons of art and culture. You have the Smith Center, the Discovery Children's Museum. Elaine Wynn just announced she's gonna be doing a huge museum project with the LACMA, the LACMA, Los Angeles Museum of Art. She'll be doing a project in the Symphony Park with a beautiful curated art collection and we're also excited for that. And they also have First Friday where a lot of local artisans come together and show off and display their art. You also have tons of performing arts with on, within the strip. You have Cirque du Soleil, Absinthe for some comedy. There's just so much going on if you really immerse yourself in the culture. Overall, I think the Waldorf Story is a great location. The service is five star across the board and you just really get a true Las Vegas lifestyle experience at the luxury level if you live within this tower. For more videos about high rises and relocation tips, check out my videos above. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you're watching this video on your TV screen, be sure to scan the QR code so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.